Okay, what's up you guys? It's Mike P from Science of Sound for part two. Now, a little bit of a review. Uh, we use a multimeter. <clears throat> we metered out both of the speakers. And um, what we're seeing here, let's do it again. On this one, uh, with the meter, we're seeing 4.3 ohms, 4.2, somewhere around there, one, whatever. Okay, on this one, the EV, it says eight, but it's actually only reading about five and a half. Okay, I'm um, a good connection. Hold on. There it is, about five and a half. So that being said, um, you know, normally you would take, you know, if you needed a four ohm load, you had two eight ohm speakers, you'd wire them in series, which basically is making a circle between the two speakers. Now, when you think about taking your two amps wires, let's say it's these two leads. When we hook these two leads up to this speaker, positive, negative, well, we're creating a circle here. And when we do that again between these two prongs, and we take these two wires and we jump to this speaker, or take those two wires straight back to the amp, either way, the amp is having to make two circles. You know, it's two completely different um, speakers. So if you draw this out on paper, it makes sense logically that the wires going from the amp, you know, going to here, they're working hard to operate this speaker, but they're also working hard to operate that one. That's what cuts your ohm load in half when you wire two together. It's parallel wiring. So an 8 ohm speaker and an 8 ohm speaker in parallel will give you a 4 ohm load. Now, let's do it this way. This is a series. Okay, I'm going to kind of do this a little bit backwards, but if I took my amps positive, went to the positive of the first speaker, out the negative there to the positive of the second speaker then we go out this negative back to the amp well, like I said draw it out on paper logically now you're not making a circle here working hard then a circle here working hard you're actually making one big circle into the positive out the negative into that second positive out of that second negative back to your amp so this is a series wiring, and that's why if you had an 8 ohm and an 8 ohm, to go through both of those, you're going to cause 16 ohms of resistance on your amp. So what does this do for, uh, for wiring up to the amp? Well, some of you have that switch on the back that allows you to do 4, 8, or 16 ohms. Um, I'd recommend, I guess if you can get a 4 ohm load, go for it. But here's our two options. Here's parallel wiring, and remember, like I told you, it was going to be speaker one, positive, positive together. Speaker two, I mean, speaker one, my bad, uh, again, negative, and then negative of speaker two. So both speakers, we've got our negatives and our positives connected. That's parallel wiring. The amp is going to look like this. You've got your negative going to your negative, and then your positive going down here to your positive. So that's what it looks like. You're powering one speaker, but it's jumping over to the second as well. Okay, so parallel. Here's the series wiring. Okay, just kind of going over this again. Into positive, out negative, into positive, out the negative. So let's just go ahead and meter this one out. If this is our amp, then we're going to hook up the positive to that first speaker, the negative to that second speaker, just like that. Look at our ohm load. Running 9.5 ohms, 9.6. Okay, so just write that down. 9.5, let's go back to a parallel wiring. That's going to be positive and positive together. And then we're going to take this other wire and run our negative and negative together. Do this real quick. Okay, so now with the parallel wiring, let's meter the way we would hook up our amp, which would be to this speaker. Let's see what kind of an ohm load that we're getting now. Hold on, just give me a second. One handed. Okay, I'm having trouble here. We'll get through it. Let's do it this way. This speaker now. We're metering this speaker, but parallel wired to that second one. Look, it's only giving us... I mean, it should be more like a 2. OK, 
Okay, there we go. That's our load. Both speakers in parallel are only 2.5 ohms. I don't know of any guitar amps out there that are stable at a 2.5 ohm load. That's not enough resistance. So our only option for these two speakers really is to go back, wire them in series, just like this, and run at that 9.5 or whatever ohm load. And in that case, you're going to want to put your amp switch on 8 ohm because see even at 9.3 ohms you're still safe because you're not dropping below that 8 ohms um, you could also put your amp switch on 4 ohms because you're still above it the only way you might have a little trouble is if you put your amp switch on 16 ohms because now you're actually below that and it's going to cause your amp to work a little too hard so hope this helped out and if you guys have any questions let me know thanks Mike